Right now, the forecast models are showing what could be the biggest storm of the season for the Northeast coming in at the end of next week. Now, before we get started, I'll say if you enjoy following the weather or you end up enjoying this video, I do forecast videos every single day, so you can subscribe to my channel if you're into that kind of thing. All right, diving under my screen, this is showing the total accumulated snowfall for the Northeast by next Sunday. And you see this massive swath of snow really along the entire east coast from pretty much all the way up from Massachusetts into Maine. And this is different from the storms we've been seeing recently because really the whole eastern coast right here has been missing out because their temperatures have been too warm. Well with this one, Massachusetts, you guys could be seeing two feet of snow with this. Parts of Maine should be getting a foot and a half. And that's if the forecast models stay the same. But we're gonna take a look as this low moves across the country before it ends up hitting the Northeast. Where's this low starting? And as it turns out, it actually started yesterday. It moved in through the Northwest. It picked up a bunch of Pacific moisture and then just dropped it on the Cascades right here. Got five to eight inches of snow yesterday. And the Sierra Nevadas actually got five to eight inches as well. Maybe even a foot in the highest elevation places. And then you can see two to three inch accumulations in parts of Idaho, Montana, Nevada, Utah, and even into Wyoming as well. Well, that's gonna continue to move south. And you can actually, throughout this video, you'll see this low that started up here. It just continues to move south. So where is it right now? It's actually in Southern California. And what this is doing is it's bringing in a bunch of warm, moist air from the tropical Pacific. Now what that does is when warm, moist air moves in, it's just gonna fuel this low. It's gonna give it energy, warm air rises up, creates a bunch of clouds, and then, well, those clouds drop precipitation. So we're still seeing some precipitation dropping in the Sierra Nevadas and Nevada throughout Sunday today. And there's that low. This is the one that's eventually going to hit the Northeast. So let's follow it as it starts to move south. You see basically a huge strip of snow, decent rates, maybe 0.2 inches per hour, going from the Sierra Nevadas all the way up into Wyoming. And that's gonna move south, you see right there. That's when it moves really, really into the position where it's picking up a bunch of warm, moist air from the tropical Pacific. And you can see that moves off by about Monday. And let's follow it. No, let's not follow it yet. Let's see what it dropped. So this is what it's still gonna drop by Tuesday. Sierra Nevadas, you're gonna get another five to eight inches. Parts of Nevada, you can maybe get five inches with this one too. Now we're gonna follow it as it moves into the south on about Tuesday morning. So here you see it right there. So this is already, it. it's already picked up that Pacific moisture. Now we're gonna see it start to pick up that Gulf moisture. So we're following where this low gets its energy before it hits the Northeast because in order to see those accumulations that we see in the Northeast, that energy and moisture has got to come from somewhere. And we're gonna see it start to move into Texas on really Tuesday night. You see really high rainfall rates. This is Tuesday night. Central Texas should be getting 0.4 inches per hour of rain. That's pretty, pretty darn significant. And then you see all that energy starting to flow in. And you can tell that because of these high rainfall rates in basically the entire central strip of Texas moving into Louisiana. This is now Wednesday at about 7 a.m. And you can see those 0.4 inches per hour of rain have moved into eastern Texas. And there's just this huge band going basically from western Texas all the way into Mississippi and Alabama. And there's that low. That's the one we've been looking for. That's the one that was originally in the northwest, dropped a foot of snow to the Sierra Nevadas. Now it's in eastern Texas and it's bringing in this warm, moist air, really creating some severe thunderstorms, most likely some flooding in the southeast. Well, let's look at it as it brings in that warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. So look at these temperatures on the continent. That's maybe 50 degrees, eh, maybe 40 degrees in some places. It's green. That means it's a lot colder than this water you see down here. You see these are more oranges and reds. So what this is doing, you see those winds coming around the low. If you don't know, the winds around the low are counterclockwise. 
So on the left side of the low, it's going to be bringing some cold air down. But on the right side, it's bringing that warm air up. Those oranges that you see there, that's moving in. And then that warm air moves in, it rises, creates a bunch of clouds, and because there's a ton of moisture, those clouds are gonna have a lot of water vapor and a lot of water inside them, which are going to get dropped on the southeast. And it's also gonna fuel this low before it eventually hits the northeast. So let's take a look at some of the crazy rainfall we're gonna be seeing in the southeast as this low moves through. You can see it really starts on Wednesday at about one in the morning, northwestern Louisiana, starting to see those 0.4 inches per hour. And as I'm clicking through here, remember, a lot of the southeast is still flooded from the rain they've been getting for the past week, two weeks, three weeks. It's really been nonstop throughout this region. And then when these huge bands of rainfall move through, that's just gonna make the flooding problem worse. So you see this is about Wednesday at 7 a.m. That rain has already moved into Alabama. Think about these winds moving in right here, just fueling this system and really high rainfall rates on Wednesday at about 1 p.m., 0.4 inches per hour in the Pearl River Basin of Mississippi. And that's the region that was super flooded last week. So they're gonna get even more flooding in this next week. It's gonna be something I'll be following throughout the week. So make sure to check back on my channel for updates on this as it happens. And there's that low again. This is the one we've been following since it was in the Northwest. Right there, it's at 1,002 millibars. You're gonna to wanna to remember that number because when it moves up to the Northeast, that drops way, way down. It's one of the lowest lows I've seen in weeks, actually, by the time it hits the Northeast. So you see, 1,004, and it's still dropping those heavy rainfall rates, and then it's finally gone on about Thursday night. But it's not just moving off into the Atlantic, it's actually gonna move up to the Northeast. Here's the big picture of what's going on. You see that low in the southeast? This is now Thursday at 10 a.m. There's that low in the southeast and this low over the Midwest. Now watch what happens as I click through here. This low moves up the east coast. It doesn't just move out into the Atlantic. It moves up the east coast, which is going to allow it get, to get more energy from the warm Gulf Stream. Wow! This low is moving down through the Midwest, and what this low is gonna be doing is bringing this cold air. All this cold air, this low is gonna bring it down while this low is bringing up energy. So these two lows are going to combine right about there. That is Friday at 4 p.m., the two lows combine together. The southern low brings in energy and moisture. The northern low, brings this cold air down. Look at that, just fill into the Northeast and it continues to fill in as this low gets deeper and deeper and deeper. You can really see the winds kicking around this low at this point. So let's look at this low as those two, the two systems combine. Here's the more Northern low and you see it's snow because it's bringing that cold air down with it. This is the Southern low, it's rain because it has all that warm moisture. These are going to combine on Friday at about 1 p.m. The two systems combine, collide, and just explode over the Northeast. As of right here, the cold air hasn't filled down yet. So New York, you're mostly gonna be getting rain at this point. This is Friday at 1 p.m., mostly rain. But just wait until that cold air fills in and the low continues to deepen. This one gets crazy. Right here, look at it, 977 and those heavy snowfall rates have already started to fill in into Massachusetts, Southern Maine. And it's interesting to see that the East Coast, like the very coast of the East Coast, is going to be getting snow with this one. And that's because the low is off, it's in the water. A lot of the lows we've been seeing recently are up in central New York. So it's bringing up the warm air on the right side and the whole coast has been too warm. Well, this one is right off the coast and then right here, this is crazy to see. This is Saturday at 7 a.m. and that purple band right there, that means about 0.2 and greater inches per hour of snowfall. So if you're getting 0.2 to 0.4 inches per hour, you can only imagine what you could pick up throughout an entire day of this. And look what that low is at now, 
62. That is the lowest low I've seen in weeks, in weeks. And those snowfall rates are intense. And remember where that band of intense snowfall is, that's exactly where we're gonna see the best accumulations. So that low drops down to a 961, and basically all of Vermont, all of New Hampshire, all of Eastern Massachusetts, all of Maine, getting snow throughout Saturday associated with this low. Continue to get it up through Saturday night, and then it finally moves off Sunday at about 7 a.m. So basically all of Saturday, the Northeast is picking up snow with this one. How much are they gonna get? Let's check out the accumulations as it fills in. So there's that snow as that first low moves in, and you see it start to fill in. Parts of northeastern Pennsylvania, southern New York, getting about an inch by Friday at 7 p.m. Even Vermont and western Massachusetts, getting maybe two inches by Saturday morning. And then it really starts to fill in, and boom, you see that bullseye just pop onto the screen. This is now Saturday at 7 a.m. And you can see, Eastern Massachusetts. That is some intense snowfall right there. We're looking at maybe a foot and a half to two feet of snow, and it that's not even the bulk of the storm yet. By Saturday at one, that bullseye turns into more of a kind of banana shape all the way from Southern Massachusetts up into Maine, and it continues throughout Saturday. So Saturday is gonna be the bulk of this storm. Vermont, basically all of Vermont is getting maybe seven, maybe even a foot of snow in some places. New Hampshire, you're gonna be in like the six to eight range, and then really Southern Maine, Eastern Massachusetts. You guys are going to get a ton of snow with this one, possibly, possibly two feet. Now this is a long way off. The forecast models are going to change. They're going to get better. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated as this storm progresses. So if you wanna stay updated, you can subscribe to my channel and check back every morning because I do these forecast videos every day. Thanks for watching.